Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm back here in the ski shop, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about wax, and I'll show you some of these skis of mine, and you're going to see some of them are really old. So anyway, that is uh, over here. I got some really old ones. Look back here. Of course, I'm not skiing these anymore, but uh, there's an old pair of pre back there. And that was old Dean Star Evasions. Look at that. See, see, I had a pair of, pair of old Dean Star V6s I skied for a long time. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I got some old skis here. But some are older and newer anyway you know yeah i've been i've been skiing for a long time folks i've been skiing for let's see since i was eight years old i don't want to tell you guys how old i am but i've been skiing for a lot of years and my first experience with wax was when i was about maybe 12 years old skiing on old head standards and uh, what I did was uh, I rubbed on some toco wax one day. I bought a pack of wax. You know, it came with uh, with what do you call it? A, a, a three pack. You know, it came with a, with one red and one yellow and one blue. And uh, since I hadn't been waxing skis, you know, I was just get anyway. You know, skiing old dried out head standards. Anyway, man, the first time I rubbed some wax on there one day, boy, what a difference that made. Holy moly. I felt like, wow. So anyway, as the years went by and I got to ski more, and I've been skiing really consistently for about the last 20 years, and I've been waxing and servicing skis for myself and other people uh, all those years. So the latest, de the latest development here I'm going to show you in the dominator wax line and the thing is what happened is the fis the sanctioning body for world cup racing and all that and uh anyway fis decided they were going to ban floral waxes okay and uh it's a kind of a you know i don't want to get all day long about it but you know yeah there's there was stuff in the floral waxes that was uh, poisoning uh, some of the applicators uh, because of bad ingredients that were in them you know and anyway one thing about Dominator was well they made their own floros unlike the other wax makers even the top end guys uh, some of their super floro you know powders that they put on the skis i mean you had to wear a dang gas mask you know to put these things on or you could really poison your lungs so but uh dominator always made their own floros instead of ordering them from you know cheaper chinese suppliers etc and uh they took an extra step to take the pofas out of it if i'm saying that right anyway so so I use fluorinated waxes from Dominator and I never worried about it although uh, you know I just didn't worry about it but then later I found out actually it was nothing to worry about but there's still this environmental issue yeah, and I know some people are greener than others and really it doesn't amount to much but you know you got to go with the flow so uh, guys at Dominator worked on these two lines and these are the new waxes and these this first line right here this is the FFC line, Fluoro Free Competition, Fluoro Free Competition, okay? And it's a super simple system. It comes with number one, a base prep. Number one is your base prep wax. You always want to use base prep wax, folks. You got to get that super soft wax and get that into the skis. That's what makes the other waxes last and sticking it here. Much better. So there is then the number two, and the number two wax, that is for, uh, well, you can see on there, I, I better put my glasses on, stand by, stand by, I can't, you know, you get, you get old, and then you, 
you need you need your glasses so anyway okay so okay so real simple system here okay and this is this is not as spendy as the top system of these new fluoro free waxes so it's not just fis bantam fluoros it's other race and bodies you know that that you might be in that you're going to be in maybe before you get to the fis level you know or competition so uh the number two uh as you see right there that's for 19 uh, fahrenheit or uh and warmer snow and we're talking about snow snow temps here and then the second wax is the cold one and that one is for 19 and colder so really simple system in the ffc the fluoro free competition and then it also has a correction kit well or like a second run kit so like maybe you know you thought it was going to be you know 19 and warmer or you thought it was going to be 19 and colder but conditions changed or maybe for your second run you know you just needed to reboost a little bit of wax on those skis and so then it comes with this rub-on kit okay the rub-on kit comes with uh, a one rub-on for the uh, colder temps and one rub-on for the warmer temps so if you put the wrong wax on if you put on the cold anyway you can rub the other one on over anyway and then then it comes with these two little synthetic corks and so anyway here's your second run or correction wax so that's super simple system right there okay boom 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 floral free folks floral free competition so uh these were tested i just got these at the end of last year so you know some of these have all been used i uh, only used one of the rub-ons a little bit testing it myself uh but the people that uh, i put these on their skis they told me they were smoking oaken and they were stoking kaboken so one thing that you notice about these waxes is see there there they all have this dark color okay now this warm one yeah no it's not that dark it's rub on one it's lighter but anyway what this is is like okay it's not dyes but that's your anti-static that's your graphites in there okay and so anyway super important and that's one thing that uh dominator has done in these new formulas is addressed the anti-static in each formula so anyway long story again but the, the anyway blah blah, blah. anti-static so they're in there they're already in there okay now these ones aren't so as spendy as these ones Okay, so this is the elite line so now if you're a skier that's really into you know like you want max glide you've used fluoros before and you know how to wax properly and you know the difference it makes that fluoros can make you know on uh well when they're needed you know on the warmer snows and uh so at any rate uh I'm trying to maintain my focus here uh so these are a little spendier but these are going to give you that max performance now the the reports back now none of these have been tested yet from me because i just got these a while back okay <clears throat> as a sample batch you know so that i could test them out and uh so anyway let's go over these real quick so the elite line this is this is like the top for for racers so if you're racing it's again it's still a super simple system now with this line right here you don't see one that says base prep but in this line you do want to use a base prep so you can use either this this base prep from the floral free line but both the base prep waxes from dominator are also uh floral free so you want to use those so anyway so os elite old snow old snow one old snow two old snow three okay the lower the number the colder the snow this one is for 14 degrees of snow temperature and colder 23 uh and 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 up and then uh 20 oh 23 and warmer i'm sorry and, and 20 23 to 14 i'm you know you guys could probably see this so so anyway so just three formulas there and uh 
anyway so then you got the new snow formulas because your anti-statics are different in new snow and old snow okay that's what they've discovered at uh, testing there at uh, dominator so same thing over here new snow one new snow two new snow three the the lower the number the colder the snow now i will tell you this already from testing these other uh the, these ones over here and putting them on and the information is on their website about how to use these i gotta tell you the number ones okay they are like hard as a rock man and you if you've ever watched any of my waxing videos i say don't run your iron too hot like keep it you know 180 200 but i'm going to tell you when you put on these number ones okay whether it's the new snow or the old snow you are going to have to turn that iron up at least to 220 and maybe even hotter than that uh you know you can go to 250 but uh boy be quick anyway so yeah because they are hard as a rock okay and so anyway so the new snows you see they're all black because they've got different anti-statics in them than the the old snows and uh then it comes with two well or you can get two overlays okay so these are your overlays but there's no fluoro in them okay so what they did was they developed uh he spent a lot of time developing different polymers okay a mix of these different polymers that act like fluoros they're super hydrophobic so anyway and then they got this uh elite w with wet for super wet snow and this is kind of like if you're familiar with uh dominators waxes it's kind of like butter but it's butter with no with no fluoro so again all fluoro free here okay so if you're green and you want to be super mean you know this is the line you're going to go for and if you're racing for sure this is the line you're going to want to go for but if you're just a junior you know and all that and you don't want to spend a buttload of money uh well not that they uh, but but anyway yeah so so here's your floor free all right folks there you go but i gotta tell you something my battery's going dead and uh i still will use because i'm not racing okay and i'm still going to use uh floral waxes when they're called for when the snow is super wet and when the snow is dirty uh and whatnot from dominator because they're still going to produce them and because they passed the epa uh regulations you know years ago so i will still use those but if you're racing you cannot contaminate your ski with any floral waxes because they're going to figure out how to test for that so anyway yeah i will still use the floral waxes when they're called for you don't need to use fluoro when it's not called for so anyway all right folks super excited super excited the dominator of fluoro free waxes again super super a lot of work put into these to create these uh polymers that act like fluoro and reports back on these uh guy told me that he was testing these with about seven national teams over in switzerland shortly ago and they said this elite line of wax was was top of the board there it was kicking some butt but you know remember ski based structure and all that always has a lot to do with everything too so got to have the right structure for the right temperature of snow etc etc combined with the right wax all right battery going down catching me a while ago all right big news big news big news folks tried to keep this video short but you know i talk a lot and i just i can't make a short video it's just really really hard but okay once again just before i check out you're a green you're a greenie you don't want to use florals but guess what now you got a choice with these new polymers that act like florals but are not florals so maybe if you try some of these waxes here what you might find is that you might find your glide was better than ever before and again assuming that you have the right structure for the conditions and you know how to wax and have learned how to wax so and it takes time to learn how to wax good but once you learn how to wax good boy look out look at me go baby look at me glide look at me glide all right catch you all while go dominator floral free waxes yee -haw!